inspired by the last game, the Hide and Seek games. Um, so we're going to use a Connect as a projector um, to do a kind of real-time strategy, seeing through the light things. And then so it'll be team-based and then it'll be team competing. And so say there'll be a projector showing a square, uh, a kind of beautiful different breeds and the different breeds have got um, gardens and house and town and in the center there will be a city. So each tiny little grid will actually have different points and so it's to kind of encourage the team to go to the center to, to get the 10 point, 20 point city to claim it and then so the team which got most of the points will win. And so to build in the city and the connect will detect your hand gesture and so, so say for instance you do that or do this or move different kind of things and then you, you could get different points for, for recognizing that what you're building. So for instance, if you do that, maybe you're building a hospital or you're doing lab or you're building a garden, for instance, something like that. Different things to be building the house. Yeah. Like hospitals, maybe you've got troops in the house. Exactly healing people faster than the hospital. I guess we had one which was like the using the mind play thing. Okay, yeah. And I don't know how much they cost. But you said to sound. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, so we're thinking like you have two teams facing each other down. And it's like a mental tug of war. Okay. So you'd have like a projector projecting like a bar or something. <laughs> and you, the teams sit opposite each other and they like concentrate and they have to pull the bar towards themselves. And Great. Like, so yeah. Mental tug of war? Yeah, yeah. Really interesting. I think, you know, I really think that's possible as well. Yeah. I really think that's possible. So, uh, because, you know, if they can concentrate, if you can measure the brainwaves of the charge of the light, it's just a trigger, isn't it? So it's just looking for some sort of input, obviously sort of certain brainwaves. Yeah, and then you could be mental champions. You could be the mental champions, yeah, absolutely. So each team can sort of have, like, different attributes to what like, so certain levels of aggression and certain levels of concentration and all that kind of thing to allow whichever team, like, sort of does better in all those areas, wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, what's one of the things, the really interesting things about the brainwave thing, so what they use in Copenhagen, is that when the brain's got it on, obviously they're trying to concentrate to kill the idiots, but they're being distracted by the idiots. So That's perhaps there's a mechanic of distraction in there. We were saying we could nominate a team member to go and distract the other team. Yeah, they yeah. Could be the distractor, and they have to basically take the other team's attention up. <laughs> Brilliant, I love that. Mental to the war. It's sort of a pitch black playing field, yeah. and there's certain like, safe zones, and they're surrounded by a little bit of light. Um, the people who there's some people who are on, and then zombies. <laughs> okay. There's two teams of humans, and there's a set of black with loads of items. Each item costs different points. So the sort of aim of the humans is to get most of the items and most of the points to their base. Right. Whilst running away from the zombies, the zombies have sort of um, sensor things, and the humans have um, sort of trackers. So the zombies can track the people on the sensors, but they can't see anything because it's pitch pitch black. And the people will have to run away from the zombies. The zombies will have some sort of light on them to show that they're coming. But the people have to go against each other and run away from the zombies. And it's all pitch black, so they don't know what they're doing. Great. Um, we've got a game which is just called Heart Attack. Which is based on one person uh, has a heart rate monitor attached to them. And there's a group of people who are trying to kill him or something, just touch him or whatever. Um, they don't, however, know, they display the nervous and the group of people trying to track this guy don't actually know who he is. Um, so what they have is uh, a sort of a scanner, which they can scan around. And if they point it in the direction of this guy, if his heart rate is above high, then they can hear a sort of synthesized version of that heart rate that is coming from that direction. So it's obviously his goal to stay calm and not move particularly energetically right, yeah. uh, to keep his heart rate down. Um, oh yes, and uh, his uh, way to win is uh, that he can point to decoy heart rates, which are <laughs> sometimes <laughs> um, And so he can plant that somewhere in his calm way, and then hopefully that will take a bit of aggressors to 
towards that. And if they go within a certain distance of that, then they'll be here. Um, at which point, all the other ones will appear because the uh, number will be set to eight equal length or whatever. So they get an idea that they're slowly being murdered. <laughs>